I've been in this museum for like an hour and a half now. Now I gotta give it another plug. It's filled with, um, they've recreated little villages and there's monitors and facts and figures and everything, so it's very, very interesting. So I've been here like four or five times before, but uh, I still find it really interesting. And today I'm just really sucking in a lot of, just really taking my time, I'm in no rush. It's Saturday, but there's not very, very many people here. So I'm getting a lot of facts that I didn't, I didn't know before about, you know, the lower floors are the beginning of any Korean conflicts, and then they go into the Korean War, where, you know, many people of the world were involved in it. But it's part of global history, not just Korean history. It would affect Korea the most. But this museum is a real must, must see. My two favorite museums in the world is one in Victoria, Canada, the British Columbia Royal Museum, and this museum. Just because I really like the way that they, museums make you feel like you're really there. another part I you know I love when they they make you really feel like you're there so I'm really pulling a plug for this museum some got some got you station line number four in Seoul it's free to get in but they put a lot of money into it it's very authentic really actually quite sad some stuff too The, just the general people living here before, during, and after the, the war. I mean, wow, what a suffering. Notification of a husband's death in battle. This is also why I like old structures in Korea, because uh, this is Korean history and I don't want to be looking at high-rises because there's more to, certainly more to Korea than high-rises, Hyundai cars and... Totally, totally cool. I like it. Okay, that's just an extra plug for inside the War Museum, uh, uh, Korean National War Museum, Samgatsu Station. I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Peace.